Hello guys, welcome to my video, it's Nday speaking. Uh, today I want to talk about um, the time management. It's something uh, I've heard so many times, how do you make it happen? Uh, I can't manage to have my daily job, uh, to have my kids, to have all these extra activities and be able to write a book. Guess what? It's definitely possible. And last week I was editing three books. Uh, it was, I think, the heaviest work I had to do. But definitely I was able to do it. My three books are away uh, and I send them to the formatting. So I'm really happy I was able to do it. I have a lot more work to do, but I'm able to do it. Um, what I'm up to right now is I'm uh, having this doctoral degree. Uh, it's a DBA. Uh, it's really heavy. It's time consuming. Uh, it's, uh, it's everything you could imagine. And it's really hard to manage to be uh, a an independent scholar uh, working on my doctoral research, which is really demanding. In the same time, I'm also working on different books I have to launch. Uh, in particular, next week I have uh, this big launch, and then after that I will have some other launches. And I'm able to manage all this, and in the same time I'm writing my next book, which is European Memories. I'm into the editing process, uh, I'm working with an editor, and I have to make everything work. You would probably say, this is a lot. How do you make it work? It's pretty simple. You have to have the final picture. You have to have these objectives. You know where you want to go, and you have this amazing full picture. Once you have that, those goals set, make sure you, it's, you have actions. You, you have this uh, strategic planning. Make sure you know where you want to go, and make sure your goals, your dreams, are all aligned. You have to remove things out of your shelves. What do I mean? It's like, if for example, I like um, reading, uh, or I like um, any kind of activities, uh, I can't make it work, I have to find a way. For example, I have to read a lot of uh, journals for my doctoral research. What do I do? I make sure what I'm reading is completely aligned with what my goal is, and what my goal set also and all those actions I've already set prior to this uh, reading, and make sure I'm reading exactly something that is aligned with my goals, like my doctoral research, and in the same time, I'm reading because I love reading. If it's something related to what you are, your topic you are writing about, make sure what you are doing is aligned with those things. Make sure any time in the waiting room, let's say you are visiting a doctor, Make sure the time you spend in that waiting room, you could read or you could write or could, you could even dictate your book or your ideas that's coming. You never know at what moment you will need it or maybe you are driving or something like that. Make sure you have uh, this opportunity to dictate at that specific moment. And also another thing you could do is the Pomodoro. Make sure every single day you write at least five or 10 or 15 minutes a day. Make sure everything you do is aligned through those goals. That's how you could improve um, your time management. Uh, you have to be also proactive. Make sure if you know this week going to be heavy, make sure you work ahead or set a specific time for that writing goals you have or those editing goals or your launch goal. It depends. You have to set it according to what is your final picture and make sure, even if you don't have time, make sure you make uh, you do something every single week that's helping that final objective you have. One important thing is you have to measure in order to grow and in order to measure, make sure your goals are countable so you could easily tick off, okay, this is done, this is done, this is done. And make sure you celebrate. When you achieve your, one of your, your let's say your milestone, make sure you celebrate it. Let's say you have this editing, you, you've, you've done it, you made it, you gave all that time to this thing. Make sure you celebrate that moment. I don't know, a, a glass of wine, a movie, a new book, meet one friend you, you haven't seen for a long time. If you like taking pictures, take some pictures. If you like walking, go for a long walk and enjoy that moment. You deserved it and you did it. That's how I make it work. And so far, I'm really happy and glad to have all those bestsellers out there 
thanks to my strategy. And I hope this is gonna help you out during your process and you could manage your time better. And if you wanna read a book and you can't do it, just find an app that's gonna read the book for you while you are doing something else. So this is gonna allow you to save time and you could use that time to do exactly what you need to achieve that goal. And I hope this time management advices would help you. Thank you very much, it was nice speaking. Bye-bye. <laughs>